Let's have a look at some of the differences between Affinity Designer and Illustrator. The first thing you need to know is that both apps are vector-based design tools. Vectors are a type of graphic that are made from coordinate points that are placed on an X and Y axis, as opposed to those little colored boxes known as pixels. The benefit of working with vectors is that they can be scaled up infinitely without quality loss, making them the ideal format for designing logos, user interface icons, avatar characters, and more. Illustrator is an Adobe product, and it's currently the industry standard when it comes to vector design, being used by design professionals, studios, and agencies all around the world. That said, Affinity Designer is a fully capable design tool that has everything you need for vector design at a professional level. Additionally, Designer also has a separate workspace for editing pixel-based images, making it a two-in-one design tool. Some of the other features you'll enjoy as an Affinity Designer user include adjustment layers, which allow you to make pixel-based adjustments to vector objects, the transparency tool, which allows you to quickly make transparent gradients without having to use layer masks, and the ability to generate grid lines at custom angles, making it easier to create isometric art. Affinity Designer also has a simpler and more organized layout, making it the easier tool to learn. Illustrator, on the other hand, does have some advanced features that you won't find in Designer. These include the Blend tool, which allows you to repeat objects along a path, Gradient meshes, which allow you to assign colors to an object based on a grid of coordinate points, and most importantly, an image tracing tool that allows you to trace vector copies of pixel-based images. Illustrator also comes with tools for generating charts and graphs, making it the better app for designing infographics, and a 3D tool as well, which allows you to turn your flat vector shapes into 3D objects. Having a look at the technical side of things, and feel free to pause the video if you'd like to take a look at this, but in short, both applications will require either a Windows or Mac device with at least 8 gigs of memory, although 16 is recommended. They each have an iPad app as well, although they will require some getting used to as they look nothing like their desktop counterpart, and both apps are only available on the iPad, no other mobile platforms. When it comes to pricing, Adobe Illustrator is sold as a subscription service that will cost you, at the time of this video anyway, $31.49 per month without a contract, $20.99 per month with the yearly agreement, or $239.88 per year when paid up front. Affinity Designer, on the other hand, is just a one-time purchase for $69.99. It should also be noted, though, that the iPad app is sold separately for $19.99, whereas Illustrator's iPad app comes with the subscription. In conclusion, Illustrator is more of a specialist tool as it has the most advanced features for working with vectors, whereas Affinity Designer has less of those features, but more image editing capabilities and better overall usability. If you'd like to learn more about the differences between these two apps, then I wrote an article breaking down all of their differences in painstaking detail. You can find that in the description below, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment as well. As always, thanks for watching.